Hello everybody. Today, on Mark's remarks, we're going to be having a bunch of veg, as normal. Well, not as normal, but uh, again. There'll be, there'll be the, the, the normal veg that I do have. There'll be the broccoli. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Peas, sweet corn. And I think that's it. You know, and there's, uh, yeah. Yeah, there, I, I don't have any carrots. So, uh, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to correct that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm taking the veg out, put it all in the bowl. I'll show you about, I'll show you that in a sec. And I'm going to do the normal thing by using the water for the gravy. In the oven, in the mini oven, I've got uh, potatoes. Got potatoes and parsnips. There we go, they're both the frozen type. Now what I've done with the potatoes and the parsnips, I've put them in a bowl in the microwave for approximately, let's see, um, about five minutes and then took them out, mixed them around, put them in for about another four, so approximately nine or ten minutes or so. Just to, you know, just to get them, because they were frozen, to, just to get them to cook on the inside. And, uh, and then, actually I'm going to put, I'm going to put this water back on to keep it hot. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, with, with the potatoes I've used, I'm using McCain's. They're the only ones I can find in the local shop. They don't. I've used these twice now. I don't. I think they're a different variety than I used on my Christmas dinner. Those really were good potatoes. Whatever they were, I can't remember. Might be Aunt Bessie's. I don't know. But um, whatever they were, I'm, I think they were different than these because these don't seem to crisp up quite as nicely as whatever I did at Christmas. Um, anyway, so so yeah, I'm having to put them in for in for longer. Now, now what I'm going to do now is this tray. You you might rec well you won't recognise, but uh, I had it. I this is what the uh, Christmas when I did the Christmas turkey. I bought. Ah, it's getting hot. I bought a, I bought a turkey. They were doing a deal at the co-op. Uh, turkey. Uh, potatoes, a bunch of veg, a Viennetta ice cream. Anyway, the, the, the turkey come in this. So, as you as you know, what I do, I wash them out and I use them to do the potatoes in. There we go. Or you could, you know, I, I put meat in there because, you know, it makes for a handy uh, oven tray, you know. Okay, right. So what I'm going to... The spoon. So... There's a, they, what they are, they, they come with a, a little bit of oil on them. They're coated in oil, but then they're frozen. So when they start to cook, the oil melts, whatever, whatever oil they coat it with. Some, some potatoes you can get with goose fat. Others with, you know, different, different stuff. Anyway, whatever, whatever it is, it's some kind of, uh, some kind of oil. But, but yeah, then what you do, you, every now and again, you take it out of the oven and you, t you turn it and then you, you, you take the oil and you, you spoon it over it, give the potatoes and whatnot a mix. Okay. Now, I've changed the bottle. Remember the, the scrap oil? which you don't want to be putting down the uh, the sink or in the bog what you do is uh, I've taken a I've taken a two litre bottle of soft drink cut, basically cut the top off turn the top inverted it so it's make a funnel and then all the all the loose or all, all the uh, oil and whatnot you can pour into there and then dispose of it at a later date there we are because you really don't want to put that down the, uh, the drain Okay, and 
Anyway, so yeah, so the potatoes, parsnips, microwave for about 10 minutes or so. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll show you this as well. Um, and that really helps, I find, because putting it straight into the oven, it just takes uh, way longer. There we go. Okay, let's turn that down a bit. Yeah, there you go. So we got a lo got a load of veg, load of potato, and we still still got the um, the main ingredient, which is Young's breaded cod fish cakes. There we are. I'll hold that there while I read the ingredients. Partially reconstituted. Reconstituted. I'm not sure what that means. Partially, um, I think that's where they just scrape it, mush it. I don't know, mush it all up. Anyway, partially reconcentrated uh, dried potato, minced cod at sixteen percent, which is highlighted is fish. So that's handy to know. Uh, cases in case you don't know that cod is a fish. Anyway, it's also got minced Alaskan pollock at fifteen percent. So these fish cakes actually, what was that thirty-one uh, percent fish? And it's got uh, wheat, flour, carbonate of iron, sunflower oil, rapeseed oil, palm oil. There's a lot of oil in it. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to be using the, as usual, the water from the gravy. Right. Actually, this is handy. What's happened is, because there's a lot of veg already left in the pan here, that it's just a, bit, it's a pain in the ass having to scoop it all out. Um, a lot of it went in the gravy, just just by chance. So that's handy. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, scoop out the rest of it and throw it in the gravy. It's all going in the same same plate. There we are. I don't think I'll, um, I, I boiled last time, last, the other day I boiled down some, uh, boiled down the water to, to really thicken it up, you know, uh, re con uh, concentrate all the goodness. There we are. This is onion gravy, it's Bisto brand. Four teaspoons with half a pint of water which of course the water comes from the veg and I don't know if you can see that but uh, there you go it's got a lot of the, it's got a lot of sweet corn and peas from the water that I took from the veg yeah so it's all good that's interesting uh, interesting idea for the veg and I'm going to pour that all over the food oh actually I, I, I need to do a couple of shout outs before I um, get the fish cakes out now, a new, uh, hello to a new sub, Jack and Mark Play. Uh, I had a quick look at their thing. Well, they, they, they seem to be doing gameplay on some video games. And anyway, so uh, yeah, Jack and Mark Play. That's their name, Jack and Mark Play. Welcome to you. Mr. Krasker. Now, he made a very interesting point. The other day, I, as you may have, may have seen... Um, I, what I did, I boiled down the water to, like I say, make sure a really high concentrated gravy granule mix. And, uh, you know, to get all the, you know, really get a lot of nutrients in there. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, he says he also uses the water from his veg to make the gravy. But he also made a very good point, which is one of the reasons why I like reading comments out from people. There are a lot of people who don't use it for any good. Um, but in this case he does, right, what, I'll get to the point in a minute. What he says is that, because um, you know I make my own bread in a machine, right? So what he does, he uses the water from the veg, he uses that water to make bread, you know? Because like, like, for example, uh, I mean, I, 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 this is very close to the top of water that I use in the, you know, because you need water to mix in with, a, with the bread, with, with the dough. Um, but I use, uh, I use bottled water. It never even occurred to me to use the water from the veg, which is 
Very good at it. See, uh, see, and, that, and that's another. Uh, that's that's why it's good to pass on the um, you know the information here. You know, like like that. So but yeah. So if you're making bread, if you happen to make your own bread, if you use the water instead of putting it down the drain, use the water to mix with your flour and all the ingredients. Make your bread. Get extra uh, nutrients in there. So very good idea. Thank you to Mr. Kraska for that one. And, uh, and yeah, and, and, and that, that's what the comment section is all about, I think, you know. Um, if you have an idea, or, you know, roughly related to um, whatever, whoever is doing the videos is, you know. Send your idea in, right, your idea in. And if, uh, if, if that particular channel passes on the information, you know, everybody benefits, because that wouldn't have occurred to me, I must admit. That would not, not in a million years, have occurred to me. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad I know that now. I might well try it out if I, you know, if, if the time when I'm making bread coincides with the time I'm boiling the veg, I'll definitely use that idea. You know. Anyway, thank you very much. All right. Hmm. Tell you what, this onion gravy is actually quite nice. These, um, these fish cakes are actually quite good. Very crunchy on the outside. Soft. They got a potato and fish flavour to them, which I mean, there's 31% fish. 31, I think, yeah. And uh, which is quite good. 31%. I mean, that's nearly nearly one third. There's two different types of fish: cod and pollock. You know, and um, and of course the, the the veg with the gravy, the onion gravy, very nice. <coughs> yeah, boy. Um, although I was reading the ingredients earlier, it's only five percent onion powder, but they still call it onion veg. But uh, you know, it tastes nice. Yeah. Did you ever have it? Oh, <coughs> I don't know how much these cost. Because I'm pretty certain I've got these in a deal, or I may have got them from somewhere, Iceland or something. They've been in the freezer for ages. But, uh, yeah, quite nice. Crunchy. Crunchy on the outside. Very good. Um, I don't know what it is. Breadcrumb? Tastes like breadcrumb. You know. Um, I, th I think if I get a chance, I'm going to change the brand of potatoes that I'm using. These really don't uh, crispy. These don't go crispy as the the other ones did. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so we got fish cakes, potato, uh, parsnips, broccoli, sprouts, sweet corn, peas, and onion gravy with the water used from the veg. Okay, there you have it. So, thank you very much for watching, and um, I'm going to write. I better go and finish this off. Bye-bye.